Hello everybody and welcome to video number two of me answering your questions from the question and answer video. To reiterate what I said in the first video, it's not too late to ask me additional questions. However, I please ask that you ask those questions in the original question video rather than this one. I will link that video below. However, if you do have a follow-up question to anything I say in this video, you can leave it on this video and maybe I'll do a wrap-up video at the end asking or answering those questions. But anyway, let's go back on over to the other page and take a look at where we left off. Alright, the next question is by Green Actor. He asks, will the House of Sam YouTube channel ever be more active and running? And the answer to that is, I don't really know. I mean, um, for those of you who don't know, the House of Sim channel is something that we as a forum created, and several of us ha hold the password to it. You know, it's not a, um, it's not controlled by one person. It's controlled by a group of us. And so far, we haven't really done too much on it. I don't think it's anyone's priority right now, but who knows, maybe in the future some more things will go up on it. The last thing I think that was done on the channel was uh, a little bit of Mountain Blade, and maybe there'll be more of that or more um, Minecraft server antics on it, but we'll see. It's hard to, it's hard to tell. Okay. That Lucas guy, that Lucas Gloss guy, ISB, is B. The Lucas Gloss guy is B. Is back. Is bisexual. Is barely legal. I don't know. Um, asks, what city do you live in? I live in the township of Ben Salem, uh, in Bucks County, in Pennsylvania. It is just located just outside of Philadelphia, and I like it, you know. I mean, it's pretty, you know, working class area where I live, but it's not, you know, a bad area by any means. It's not bad. And, of course, I love Philly, so I'm happy to be here. Okay. Now we have a question by Mega Super Crazy Bob. Who asks, who are your three favorite non-House of Sim Let's Players? Well, I'm thinking about that, and of course, once again, I have to hearken back to Sir Ron Lionheart, the Let's Player I discovered in April 2009 that inspired me to start Let's Playing myself. I mean, there's something just about his energy and his enthusiasm, and just his attitude that is so captivating and um, he's entertaining really entertaining and between February of 09 and J July of 09 he uploaded like 800 videos like he uploaded almost as many videos as I have now within like six months like he was insane but then he sort of dropped off the planet only releasing one video every few months just to sort of prove that he was still alive I guess um, However, he has spontaneously come back to life within the last couple months doing a Mario ROM hack, and he's doing Braid, and I want to be the guy. Um, he's not uploading quite as much as he was, but it's great to see him back, and I'm very happy to go back and watch those videos. Um, so that's one. One of my other favorite Let's Players is a guy called Joseph V. Stalin. And don't let the name scare you. He's really a sweet guy in, you know, some respects, I guess. Well, he's a, he's a fun guy. He's Canadian. And he does mostly Let's Plays of things like I do, of strategy games, mainly, or largely, anyway. Um, like, he originally inspired me to get Europa Universalis 3. Unfortunately, I can't play that game worth a damn. But, um... He was an inspiration to me in the early days, and um, I uh, 
I like to think that I took after him, at least in some ways. And uh, he's a, just a very interesting character, just like how into his games he is. And I, I don't know, he has kind of a cool personality, I guess. As for a third one, well, if you had asked me about a year ago, I probably would have said Raukau. But I've kind of fallen out of Raukau just a little bit. I mean, I don't want to say I don't like Raukau anymore, but, um, I don't know. Um, Raukau's someone I go in and out with because, well, I mean, there's only so many Mario ROM hacks you can do before it starts becoming more of the same thing. And, I mean, that's his, shti his shtick. He's good at it, and people will enjoy it, so I guess more power to him. But, I don't know. Raukau's a nice guy, but, I don't know. He comes off to me as being just a little bit aloof and a little bit snotty. Well, like a little snob, you know? He seems a little bit snobby. He, I mean, most Let's Players by this point in their career have shown themselves. He still refuses to um, give any visual description of himself other than he's tall, apparently. And that's all we know about him. Uh, and it's not like he's a teenager. He's older than me. He's in his late 20s, possibly even 30 by this point, or close to it. And just the way that... I don't know. I joined Rauk House for Metalk House a few years ago, like 2010 maybe, and um, the, the feeling of snobbery and elitism kind of rubbed off onto the form. And it was kind of like if you weren't into the same things that the, the main people on the forum were into, it didn't feel too welcoming. So I haven't been, I haven't posted on that forum in a very long time, and I only had maybe a hundred posts before I stopped posting. I mean, Joseph E. Stalin has a forum too, but I haven't. Uh, I mean, I've been on it, but uh, I just haven't bothered going over there just because I'm lazy, I guess. Maybe I should though. So seems like an interesting place. But if I can't say Raukau, who am I gonna say? I mean, I don't watch too many more, too many Let's Plays anymore, just because there's not as much time as there once was, and you know, after a while, I'm, gonna s I'm going to, you know, be seeing things over again. But I am going to say somebody who is a. I did think of somebody, and he's someone I didn't watch too much originally but I kind of get into later on. And he's a name that most of you probably know. His name is Nintendo Capri Sun. And he was sort of... Um, my forum friend Eric the Awesome really got me into him with the um, Conker's Bad Fur Day Let's Play that he did a few months ago. Maybe it was last year. And, um, yeah, Nintendo Capri Sun, or Tim, as he's called his name, is known to many fans, and he's one of the original old-school Let's Players. You know, pre-Machinima, pre-Yogg's cast, pre-all this bullshit. Um, I mean, he wasn't one of the original, original Let's Players that came over from Something Awful, but he was the first generation of YouTube Let's Players to achieve excellence. And... Um, I do like him a lot. I mean, I don't watch every Let's Play he puts out, but I just like his personality. He's similar to me in some ways. I mean, he's a lot older than me. He's a lot older than most people. You know, on the internet, at any rate, he's in his mid-30s, about 10 years older than me. But he's just... I'd call him, just like me, a bit of a lovable loser, and I mean that in the best possible way. And... You can see that... One thing that's awesome about him is you can see the childlike excitement in him. You know, his inner child comes out to play when he does his videos. And it's very nice. He's a good Let's Player. Wow, I spent a long time on that. Relatively a short question, but that's okay. Um, KH Girl asks me, Who is your favorite character or characters from your Sims 2 Let's Play? Well, the thing about that is... Um, it's kind of like picking between your children... I um I can't say who I like the best. It's just um yeah, like picking between your children, but 
I have a very deep affection for the characters that I've crafted over the years. I don't I don't like to think I created them. I sort of think I molded them through their lives. But um you know, if I wanted to get all deep on you, I could say that Lucy, Amanda, and Sue each conform to a, like a female archetype in my mind, you know. And I wanted to make a video about that a long time ago, but, you know, the uh, thought is not as articulate in my mind as it once was. But yeah, they each represent a kind of girl in my mind. All three equally interesting in in my mind at least. And the third generation is coming along and I'm sure they're going to make interesting characters. Um, I keep saying I have to get more into making Sims 2, but you know, laziness and all that. Um, so yeah, I can't really say what characters I like the most. It's just impossible. I can't do it. Um, all right. And next is a series of questions by moderator extraordinaire from the House of Sim, King of the Hip Hop. So, hi King, how you doing? I'm going to answer your questions. He says, oh boy, here we go again. This is going to be fun. I'm glad you think so. Number one, how's it going? How's life? Life's not bad. I mean, I recently had a very good experience in Boston, the city of Boston. I met a friend, you know, my, f my friend from Germany named Julia. And before you start thinking, ooh, you know, it's, no, she's the wife of one of my close friends that I met over here in America. So, yeah, but we're, I'm close with both of them. And she came over to Boston, and I went up to Boston to see her, and we spent uh, three days up there, and it just sort of caused a shift in my mind, something that I hope that I can keep going. I mean, I talked about this more on the Sudden Plant, ep on the Sudden Plant show, so if you are... If any of you out there want to hear more about this, go over to Sudden Plant and click on the uh, last vlog that I did. But yeah, it was... In all, life is better than it was this time last week. I'll say that. Or before this time last week, I guess, because this was about the time I was getting to Boston. But, okay. Number two, how are you feeling about the current state of your channel? You happy that you're branching out into new games? Um, well, the second part, yes. I'm very happy to be doing new games because doing the same thing forever would just get boring, you know? So I'm glad I'm doing new things. Uh, Civ 4 is not entirely a new thing, but it's kind of a new thing. Um, as far as am I happy about the state of my channel, well, I'm kind of worried because it seems that despite my subscriber count slowly climbing... I'm not getting as many views on my video as I would have got this time last year or even two years ago. And I kind of feel that a lot of my former viewers have gotten bored with me or, you know, there's particular content that they're not, that they're not getting enough of from me. But I don't know. I kind of feel like a year ago most videos I would have uploaded would have gotten like 10 to 12 comments, whereas now they get 5 or 6. And I know, oh, first world problems and boohoo, but I don't know. It, it does worry me because I have had this thought, and I've had this thought for pretty much over the, the last year that I've passed my prime as a Let's Player. I mean, I used to get consistently 100 subscribers a month, but now it really seems to have slowed to less than half that. And it just seems like people aren't finding me, people aren't watching me as much. Like, you know, a person with 3,000 subscribers, if they, if those subscribers are watching, they should have an average of, I'm going to say, 500 to 100 to 1,500 views per video, whereas I get maybe 100 or 200, 300 at most. Well, maybe five or six hundred after a few days, 
on some of them, but it just gets me worried that um, I might have 3,000 subscribers, but do I really have anywhere near that number of viewers? Um, I kind of feel like if somebody were to take my realistic subscriber count, it would be less than a thousand, and the other two thousand are people who just subscribed at some point and just don't bother watching. And that's, I guess, that's no one's fault but mine. And that's partially why I went to play new games to breathe new life into the channel and do new things. You know, bring back people who might have left, and bring in new people. You know, that's the idea. Okay. Um, and also the one thing I'm worried about, I kind of wonder if my channel and my, you know, our forum has become a little bit too closed off, too much of an insider thing, like the things I said about Raukow are and his talk house are happening to us. And I really don't want that to happen. I really want our community to be expanding and welcoming new people. And, you know, I think... King and Cat, my two moderators, as well as everyone else, has been very good about that, but it's just a concern I have. Okay. Three. You planning on streaming again? Been a while since the bone stream. Scumbag King was at camp during summer stream. Yes, I had a ton of fun at the uh, summer stream, and I do think I will stream again. Um. I when I'm gonna stream, who knows. I can stream anything, really. It just depends on what people want. But yeah, I think an occasional once in a while stream would do my channel and my viewers good. And uh, King, the next stream, the next time we do a streaming marathon, you'll be part of it. As long as you're not at camp. But, okay. Four, who are the two best moderators in the world? Oh... I want to say, I want to make up, like, some snooty answer, like, oh, these other people, but no, it's my bros, King and Cat. Uh, they're intelligent and very fair people, and I'm glad to have both of them on board on the House of Sim. All right, next question. Five, is Leslie Spike ever going to come back? I believe if you put enough determination into those, into it as those towers in Minecraft, you could get somewhere. Yeah, I've thought about that, because creating a big ass tower in Minecraft and creating a decent song actually only take about the same amount of time. But you know, I guess creating a song has more value because how many people are going to see this Minecraft tower and how? Impressive, impressive is it really in the long run? I mean, am I going to put that on a resume for an architecture firm? I mean, that's probably not going to happen. So, yeah. Leslie Spike, it's kind of weird because I still feel after all this time, there's still a mental block in me. There's still a fear I have that prevents me from going forward with it. Um... I did say that 2000, 2012, this year, was going to be the year where I either do Leslie Spike or forget it forever. But I have found that I don't have the courage to do it, but on the same token, I don't have the courage to throw it away either. So this is just going to be a question that hangs over my mind probably for the rest of my life. But... I don't know. I still need to still need to freaking do it. Get on my unregistered copy of Mixcraft and try to you know, not get frustrated if things don't sound well and just do stuff because I have song ideas bouncing around in my head all the time. I always do. And it's about time that I try to make something. So soon I should be doing that. I mean, I need to buy better headphones, blah, blah, blah. Excuses, excuses, but yeah, I'll get to it. I need to. Huh. Okay, number six, you miss me? Of course, I miss you, King. You were gone at camp for a long time, and now you're at freaking school. What the hell, man? You need to drop out, so you'll be around more often. 
Um, seven. As I always ask everyone in one of these, how are you feeling about the forum and how it's been? We've been around for nearly two and a half years. Hmm. Yes, we have. Well, I did answer at least some of that question. Technically, in one day, it's going to be the two and a half year anniversary. Not that half year anniversaries are something particularly meaningful, I guess. But, um, I'm happy that the forum is still around and that there hasn't been like a truly dead period. I mean there have been slow periods but never a dead period and I don't want this forum to die like ever really but uh, you know especially now. Um, I think that if I do new games and if other people on the forum actually become regular Let's Players that will be good. I mean, right now, there's a few people on the forum who are doing Let's Plays. I mean, Cat in the Shadows, he's not really doing a Let's Play per se, but he is re-releasing his streams that were part of the summer stream on his channel. I encourage everyone to wa watch that. And a relatively new member of the forum called The Cobbler, otherwise known as El Cobblerissimo on YouTube, has started a Europa Universalis Let's Play, and if there's anyone here who watched Unit Rico's Let's Play, you're going to like this, because coincidentally, they're both Dutch, and they almost sound like they're the same person, both in voice and in personality, nearly. So, it's turning out well so far. So, that's an official plug for his Let's Play. I think you should all watch it. And, I mean, my my buddy Dwyron, uh, I'm not sure how much I would consider him a regular forum member because he doesn't come on the forum too often. He's more of like a person who's tangentially um, linked with the House of Sim. When I first encountered him, I had about 1,500 subscribers, and he had like 100. He was pretty new on YouTube, but now... He has more subscribers than me. He passed me a few months ago, and he's zipping on towards 4,000. I mean, he would tell me, no, I don't have as many subscribers as you really, because half of my subscribers watch my Go videos and half watch the gaming videos. And since all yours are gaming, in that regard, you have more than me. That's what he would tell me, which is technically true, but overall, the number on your page, Byron, is higher than mine, so... Overall, you're doing better here on YouTube, and you're growing at a much faster rate, too. I'm kind of a dinosaur at this point, huh? <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's very, um, he's been doing very well. Um, I don't know if he's, uh, he's never steered anyone towards the house of him, though, but if he did, it might open the floodgates to, like, a different people than we're used to getting, who knows. Um, but... Hell, it, w it couldn't hurt, I guess. And, you know, there is this lazy bastard on the forum called King of the Hip Hop who doesn't make any videos anymore because he's lazy. But if he made videos, maybe that would be good. Maybe not, because they probably suck. But we'll see. Um, so, yeah, there is a few things going on there. Okay. Number eight. Any other games you think you might want to pick up? There's always a lot of things that seem like, well, this seems interesting to me, but nothing that jumps out like, I need this. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. As I said, nothing really jumps out at me. But, who knows, that might change. Nine, any other games you think you, think you might want to let's play? I really want to do a let's play of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And I don't know when that's going to be, but it's going to happen at some point. So, if you like that, hang on. You know, I played Roller Coaster Tycoon in my teens almost as much as Civ 3, and maybe I haven't played it in about five years, but it would only take maybe a few practice parks to get all my skills back, because I used to be a pro at making these parks and making awesome rides 
and everything would interlock and I'd use the space so efficiently and everything would be like very beautiful. I'd love to play that for you all and I'm pretty sure there a lot of you would be into that. Um, so yeah, there's that. What ten? What is your favorite bird? Hmm. I would. I don't know. I mean, I could be generic, or I guess unoriginal, and say the eagle. Not necessarily because of its American connotations, or even the Philadelphia football team, but just because it's so majestic and it's powerful. You know big wingspan, it's a predator, it's a hunter, you know, it screeches across the sky, inspiring fear and awe. So I could say the eagle, or, I don't know, a, a pretty little finch, I guess, that's red and different colors, I don't know. But I could go many ways with that. Or I could just choose, like, the ostrich and be just, like, weird like that, but I guess I'll go with the eagle. So that would be kind of cool. All right. Eleven. What about Minecraft captivates you so much? Well, it really does feel like the game was designed for me. Because I've always liked unlimited sandbox games. And SimCity was that to an extent. Roller Coaster Tycoon was that to an extent. And so was The Sims. But Minecraft seems like the most open, unlimited thing. It's just like... It releases the inner geek in the most profound ways. Like, you can do anything. You can build anything. You know, you can play it as a game and mine blocks. Or you can just play it as a builder, go to creative mode, and just build. You know, you can do either of those things. And it's just really amazing. And uh, I think that's what really captivates me about it. It's just, you know... The, the wide open anything is possible kind of thing it's that's what gets me okay 12 any advice for new less players not for me obviously just asking for all the homies out there and stuff I'm going to say you just can't be afraid and you can't give up early no one's going you won't get many subscribers from the first few episodes you have to be persistent and keep at it. You have to just do it. Not care what anyone thinks. Don't get too fussy over the quality. If you think your commentary sucks, it will get better with practice. If you think your video quality sucks, you'll learn new tricks as you go along. If you think you suck at the game, you'll get better at the game. These things will happen. You don't have to worry about them. Just keep making episodes just charge on through like you know exactly what you're doing even if you don't and you can't fail I mean you, you can fail but you're much less likely to fail if you do that alright uh, 13 favorite adverb adverb rather daintily oh no not really um I don't know. I have not really compared the merits of different adverbs too much, but maybe I pick something like astoundingly. Like, that was an astoundingly stupid thing to do. Or maybe incomprehensibly. Like, that was an incomprehensibly mind blowing experience. I didn't think it could stretch that wide, or something like that. So, well, I'll go with that. Incomprehensibly, because it's like, oh, oh I'm Sylvester Stallone. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> but anyway, 14, Garden Pizza. If that's a question, then the answer to that question is yes. Freaking Garden Pizza. Alright, well that's the end of King's questions, so I'm going to declare this the end of the video, so I want to thank you for watching. Please leave any follow-up questions down below, but if you have any new questions you want to ask me, 
just put them back on the first question video, please. Let's make this exactly 30 minutes. So thank you for watching. See you for the next one. Goodbye.